Hey guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use VLOOKUP without breaking the formula whenever you add a column. So, um, this is kind of in assuming that you are kind of familiar with VLOOKUP and, and, um, and if not, maybe I can make another video showing that if I get enough people asking me to do that. But, uh, but anyway, um, uh, a, a common problem that people run into whenever they use uh, VLOOKUP is that they, when they add a column, well, maybe I should do an example of what happens when, <laughs> when you don't, uh, of what happens uh, whenever you um, do it, whenever you use, without using a formula. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say, you know, column three to initially give me the same result. So you see how, um, okay, all right. So let me, let me, let me, let me just d demonstrate it and then we can talk about it, okay? So here, here, here's the problem, all right? I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add a column right here. All right, so now you can see that this is now, you know, giving me a value that I don't want, did not intend um, by using the absolute value of the column in the formula up here where I hard coded in three, right? And, and it's, it's not good whenever you get a value that is, you're not expecting. And especially if it's not throwing in an error or something, you know, it's not saying ref, you know, a, giving you a funny looking thing with an error in it. That's even worse if you have a bigger Excel file. But uh, VLOOKUP is a common uh, reference uh, formula that people use to look up values. And we'll run through this example, but you could see that this value right here is still giving me a valid um, uh, output that, that we're expecting whenever we originally wrote the formula. And um, we'll run through this. This looks kind of complicated up here. This this formula up here, but we'll we'll run through it. It's it's really not that bad whenever you uh, go through it slowly and really understand what what each of these is. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we run through this example real quick? And maybe maybe we we'll use this this simple one, this uh, hard coded one, because you know just as as an example, and then we can talk about the thing that we're modifying here. Okay, so this is what most people do. They they just hard code in the columns here, but let's let's back up and let's start over with the, with the whole uh, formula. So, you know, here's your VLOOKUP formula, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to, um, well, we'll get to it. So so here's our lookup value, okay, and this is pulling from H5, which is right here. I'm just kind of showing it explicitly so that people can see. Okay, we're looking up out of this list of of this first column. We want Excel to go look in this first column for us and we want them to go find the name Susie All right that, that we're doing right here. Okay, and 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 this could come from many places, right? This could come from our user input, you know, or, or maybe we, we Whatever we just for how somehow or another we're not gonna there's many ways that you could come up with Where this value is coming from right? But we won't go into that. Okay, so we want Excel to go look in this first column for the name Susie and then we want Excel to do something once once it finds that. So so uh, from our first input here, Excel is is going to go over here and look up. Okay, and it's going to go find Susie. All right, so so bam, so it, it did that. Okay, now we're going to go to the second uh, 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 input that is re required to use this formula. Okay, so that's your table array, and that's you see that in this red box here. So you just highlight that, and uh, Excel will write those those in you, in for you. B5 to, to E8. Actually, you have to uh, hit F4, I believe, if you're using Windows to get these dollar signs. And basically, what that means is that you know, if you copy and paste this formula somewhere, it's going to still reference this red box right here. It won't move with uh, this red box won't move relative to the new location where you pasted. Uh, that new formula okay and um, all right so the so that's 
and, and what this does for Excel is this tells Excel the boundaries for this formula, right? So, so we're telling Excel that, um, okay, we're, Excel, we're gonna we're gonna ask you to go look in this box for us, and we're not we're not gonna ask you to look for anything outside this box over here. Only the stuff within this box is what we want you to out, bring back to us and output for us. And um, whenever you write this formula, you the the lookup value in this case Susie must be in column one right here. Okay, there's no getting around that. All right, that that's just whenever you use this formula, that's the way that Excel ex, is is uh, expecting it, and there's just no way around it. You have to, uh, you, you know, your lookup value right here, this H5 right here that we put right here, that right there, this one H5, whenever for your table array you've got to start you've got to start it in this column this has to be column one you can't start the array over here you'll get an error if you do that you can't start it you know obviously over here this would be that would be outside the box but anyway you, you couldn't start it here so you have to start your array right here in this column this has to be column one and then you can go over as far as you can if you want uh, you know in, in bringing this out but in this case for this example uh, actually, I tell you what. Look, why don't we just uh, bring bring this out, okay, over here? All right, it's not going to make a difference on our output, but you know, just let's do that, okay? So, so this is where, okay, all right. I think that's clear, right? Okay. Um, now we'll move on to the next uh, the next deal here. This is where people usually hard code in um, the column, okay? And in this case, we're just saying right here that we want to we want to find place right that the the column name place we want we want this one all right that I'm just explicitly writing this out so that we know the data that we're after okay we we want this column right here all right and um and in in our case um this is going to come from um. It, it, it actually it used to be column three but since we inserted a column now it's it's actually four right so and, and the way it's counted is you count it like this okay this is column one in your array you don't you don't you don't start from over here at the absolute column number um, in Excel it actually your first column is within the array that you selected in the red box that you so you selected okay so this is column one two three four okay so now i'm going to go ahead and change this to back to four just so that you'll see that we we now get the data that we expect when we'll hit enter but before i do that let's just finish this out and and just determine what this is um false means that where excel is expecting um an exact value true i believe would be approximate and you can click this button and look it up on Excel. It'll tell you what each one of them means, you know, like true and false. And I don't, you know, just to see, like, what exactly is it talking about. In our case, we're looking up a name. Um, but, you know, if you were, like, looking up a number, it it, it, it can, like, uh, get the, if, if there's not an exact match, it can get, like, the next, the next close the nearest value to it if it's less than the value that you were looking up something like that but anyway you can get the exact deal from from excel um i usually if i have to i usually like to look it up to to re remind myself what it means anyway um if if i'm not using false for the for an exact match but uh so in this case, we are going to say it's an exact match. We'll leave it at false, okay? And and then you just hit enter, and you'll see over here. I'm I'm now going to get two A, right? Okay. So now now those are those are matching up now, okay? And um and now, but what what's going to happen is I'm going to come over here. Let's just do another example. I'm going to come over here and delete this, okay? I'm going to delete this value right right here. This this column, sorry. And um. And now you're going to see that you know this this remained the way it was, right? It's it's still in the column place, you know, right here. I'm saying I want I want the data from from the column named place, okay? And and the VLOOKUP is is giving me two A, which is right. You know that's what I want. That's the data, and 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 it still remained. This still remained um, true and accurate, um, even after I deleted that column. 
But the problem now is this is now giving me a, a problem. This is giving me wrong data. This is giving me data right here. Um, and um, it's doing that because we, in, in the formula, we, we gave it a, a hard code value of four. Okay, and, and whenever you delete and add columns, this, this, that doesn't change here, right? Because it, when you hard code four, it, it, Excel doesn't change that. Whenever you delete or add columns, um, it's always going to pull from, from column four. In our case, that's, that's here, right? That's, this is the fourth column now because, you know, whenever we double click on this, we can see here's our red box, right? And here's column one, two, three, four. Okay, now, you know, if I come over here and, um, you know, I add uh, another another deal in here, you can see now this is giving me a even a, a different value. Now it's pulling from this same column right here, right? And like if I come over here, if I add another one in here, you know, now that didn't really affect it because that's, you know, it is, it moved the red box over in that case. So that now this is one, two, three, four. That's why, you know, it's now giving me this value that's in here, which is really nothing. Unless I come in here and I say H H H H, you know, then it'll it'll show us, okay, that's it's pulling it's it's pulling from that location right there. But so let's talk about how this this one up here um so the only thing that we're going to change in this formula between the two, uh, bet between this this one and this one, oh, sorry, this cell and this cell, the only difference is going to be this this whoop, excuse me is going to be is going to be this highlighted area right here. That's the only thing we're going to change, right? That's the only thing we're going to change. We're going to we're going to update that to, to that right there and um and, and basically let's let's slowly go through this so basically what this is saying is um we're saying okay column e4 oops, excuse me i'm gonna come out of here okay so we're saying column e4 which is place right here okay minus column c4 which is the first column and you know like we we kind of went through this and kind of spoke about this a bit it's it's pretty safe to to put to reference that first column because you know when you add a column before it it kind of pushes it over and when you add a column within the the array it doesn't it still comes out correctly it still does it it still calculates it correctly so it's uh it's it's pretty safe for the most part i, I can't really think of a of a situation where it wouldn't be safe but there may be one so you kind of have to be it's probably to, good to you know be mindful and uh, maybe i'm missing something but i don't think i am I, I, or at least i can't think of anything where this would give you a problem for using vlookup um, because like we saw, if you're adding data, a column before where your starting point, you're okay. Cause it's going to push the whole box over. So you're fine. And if you add a column within the data, it's, it's still going to come out correctly. Um, so I, I think you're okay. Um, if you, if you basically use this methodology, so basically you want to use the column function in Excel. And so in our case, it'll be column E4. And that's, that's the place, that's the place column. That's what we want. That's where we want our data to come from. And then column C4, which in our, in our case is the, is the first column in our array. Okay, so you can see that this column C4, and, and, and really the row that I have here, it's not, it doesn't really matter. Like I could put, you know, E1, right? It just, that part does not, and C1 it, it that part does not matter the the main thing is 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 the this part the C and in this case the E um, and 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 so you can see that this column C1 is is also matching you know the C over here the start of our array okay and um, uh, 
and you know this this uh, E1 right here is basically um, the column that that we're pulling data from so um, now you want to add a plus one in here and the reason is because you, now you uh, the reason is because uh, like um, it's how can I explain this like so whenever it's it's gonna subtract these two so what's what, what it's actually doing is it's gonna say okay you know column e1 which would be um, column 5 uh, minus column c1 which is 3 will give you 2 okay and then 2 plus 1 this 1 right here is equal to 3 so that's why you always add 1 to this okay so um, hopefully that makes sense so basically the bottom line is that you want to set up your V your V lookup formula as usual like you always do as you know as you normally do it's just that all you really have to do is come in here and for the columns input this this part right here you want to put column and then parentheses you know whatever column that you're pulling from in our case it happens to be in the E column right that because place is in the E column that's where we're pulling from and then minus the starting point of the of the array the lookup array which in our case is column C which is here okay plus one so if you do that then you shouldn't have any problem whenever you add columns or delete columns to uh, from your uh, VLOOKUP uh, table. Alright, hope that helps guys.